What's up guys, it's the opening day here at the World Championships. So we're gonna check out the qualification matches taking place. There's already lots of fans in the main arena, which is over here. We're gonna go to the second playing hall, where there's 32 tables. We're gonna watch the matches unfold. 9 p.m. here on the opening day, and the mixed doubles qualification round has commenced. A friend of mine over there, Marcus Madrid. Playing in mixed doubles. Fantastic player. Loving the music here in Dusseldorf. When there's a break of matches, the music pops on. Lights come on. And these really cool videos made by the ATF come on the TV screen. These videos are made by Joachim. Great guy. Probably the best video editor in table tennis. Some of the videos he makes are absolutely class. Opening ceremony yesterday. I'm just talking about you. I said that you made this video. Here's the man. Here's the man himself. The Hi video guys. editor. Good timing. <laughs> That's brilliant. So right now is the men's singles group stages. So it's the qualifications to get into the opening main draw. Main draw takes place on Wednesday. So this is the second playing hall next to the main arena where loads of group matches are taking place. I couldn't give you a stat on how many matches have been played today, but there sure is a lot of them. Constantly. Round after round. Mixed doubles, women's singles, men's doubles, men's singles. Even though know, it's a Monday, pretty full here in Germany. We packed out. Game set and match. Pretty full arena here, even though it's Monday, the opening day. Lots of people in the crowd watching these qualification matches. You can see the sheer size of it. So many matches have taken place. I'm going to be completely honest, I'm actually struggling to keep up with everything. So many games. But this tournament is so well run. Very well organised. Lots of screaming from the coaches. There's an example there. That new rule that was recently introduced where coaches can coach during the point. I'm seeing a lot of that very often here. Who do you think will win the tournament? Um, I have a feeling it will be not Ma Long. It will be also not Chang Yike. Mm. It will be a Chinese player. I think Fan Chen Dong. Mm. I forgot his name, the youngest boy. Ling Yan, yeah. Yeah, with the left, left hand. hand yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. very, very interested. It'll be dangerous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it will be not easy for the other to beat him. Here's some cool tables where fans can hang out and play and have some fun. These cool DHS mini tables. It's getting serious with these guys. Whoa. <laughs> Team of Bond Dimitri Ochoff here. What legends. We're now into day two of the qualification event. There's 64 groups. The winner of each group will go into the prelim stage and then the winner of that match in the prelim will go into the main draw, which begins tomorrow. Oh, 
crowd loving that. See that a lot in the World Ping Pong Championships. Now we see it in the World Championships. Got on to Coach Joe there. Hey. I think for this afternoon's match, I just really relaxed. You know, I've got no pressure on me here. I'm not playing as much as these guys. You know, two or three days before the tournament, I'm playing badminton. You know, these guys, you know, are full-time professionals. I don't have the pressure on me, and I think that helps me to just relax. Yeah, you look really comfortable yeah. out there, actually, very relaxed. And and I've, got, I've got a few words I'm using there in my mind as well, when things start to get a little bit bitty. If he gets a net or an edge, I've got a couple of key words in my mind, where before, maybe I'd lose the plot and the set would drift away. I'm finding now I can be 5-0 down, and then I can be 7 all. You know, a word like Fed, Roger Federer. You know, Federer, it doesn't matter how good or how bad he's playing, he's giving nothing away. Mm. And normally I'm, you know, quite negative when, when things are not going my way at this level, mm. you know, but there, 5-0 down in one set, giving absolutely nothing away, right? That's yeah, important. Course. A lot of supporters there, like, I can feel it's a amazing. lot of the German crowd there getting behind me as well, yeah. because obviously I'm playing differently, mm. I'm bringing the crowd into it, you know, they've paid their money to be here, bring the crowd in as well. So, so hopefully it can be a, you know, one of the big names next yeah. and in the main hall. Well, so good forward to looking forward to watching you and good luck, Gav. Yeah, thanks. Great. Luck. What's your best club? I think everyone is so social. Um, you know, all the matches, you've got a crowd all grouping around. Um, in the main hall as well, it's, everyone's having a nice time and you're all talking. It's, it's a nice atmosphere. Yeah. So you're coaching Gavin, how's that been? It's fantastic. Um, never thought I'd be doing anything like that, to be honest. And obviously, Gavin's a fantastic player. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm such an experience to be here with, with Gavin as well, it's fantastic. Exactly. You'll go away being a Grand Prix winner. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Cheers, Joe. Keep enjoying nice experience and see you around. Yeah? Cheers. Nice, nice mate. One of the best female players in the world, having to play in the group stage and she hasn't got a world ranking. Chinese media there, ready to interview her. <laughs> Who is your favourite player? Uh, my favourite player is uh, Dimitri Ovtorov, <laughs> Timo Bull, Malong and uh, Sanjiko. And who do you think will win the tournament? I think um, Malong. What do you think of this uh, tournament? Obviously you've been to so many of these now. What do you think of this one in 2017? I knew it was going to be well organised and it is. Um, are they all very much the same in terms of like um, the show they put on, the facilities they got, the conditions they got. Uh, so things have progressed in the last sort of 10, 15 years in that regard. Uh, I remember playing back in the 90s and you get right up and close and personal to the show courts. That doesn't happen anymore, it's presented in a better way. Um, but yeah, you know, they're all very much the same. Germans obviously put on a great show and um, didn't expect anything less. Yeah. Who do you think then will win the tournament? Can't see far past Marlong to be honest. You know, he's, I know people can beat him and he's lost a few recently, but. Um, yeah, number one in the world, Olympic champion, mm -hmm. current world champion, so yeah. can't look past that. The world team have made a huge improvement over the last few years, all the world rankings are going up. Yeah. You mentioned Charlotte Carey in the last 128, fantastic results have taken place. Our job is to just do what we can, play to our best, play to our limits. Uh, if we don't, you know, we're going to be our first round, second round. If we do play our best, then we've got to you know, pick up those big wins and that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for someone from Wales to come here and, and win a medal, let's say. But that's all we can do is it's another opportunity opportunity to have big wins, move up the rankings and then try and progress slowly but surely and this is a good um, qualification event for the Commonwealth Games next April. We're still trying to get players qualified for that with Team Wales. We're fighting against all the other sports uh, that are going there for Wales because it only takes so many athletes. So we have to show them these take more tablelands players than other sports and that's the battle we got. See you right, well wish you best of luck. Thanks Ryan. Thank you Dan. Awesome mate. Awesome. It's like playing your first world championship. 
Yes, uh, it's been good. It's been a good experience. Obviously, there's a lot going on like in the background, but you've just got to try and concentrate on like yourself and try and get into your own game before you look at like all the good players playing yeah. themselves. Yeah, I can imagine you can get quite easily distracted. There's so much going on. Yeah, and yeah. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of uh, like spectators trying to see like the big people play, but yeah, you've just got to try and concentrate on your own game and just play. Play your own game with other people. Obviously, there's a lot of distraction from other tables because there's a lot. There's a big hole in the second table from tables five to thirty-two. But yeah, you just got to find fun to it. You have Okay, I've just been told by Matt Salt, who works for the ITTF, that there's a total of 351 qualification matches today. Also in the main arena, matches are taking place as well from tables one to four. But this room here is doing the majority of it. Who do you think's gonna win the tournament? I don't know, I'm hope this may be like a cliche, but I hope Malong, just because after the uh, Olympics and World Champs, he's gained so much confidence. And I feel like if he wouldn't win World Champs again, I feel like he could be like maybe the greatest of all time. So. That's very true, I think, yeah. That will secure the title of the world's yeah, greatest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know. So I mean, like I remember during Olympics, um, he was really. You can see when he played Young Young Sik from Korea, Lee Liang was so nervous. And Young Young Sik was playing really well, and you can see that it was really affecting Ma Long a lot. Like he was really nervous and tense. So I mean, I was like, if he, if he managed to win that match in Olympics, he will just play with ease after that. Because yeah, because yeah. with him it was like a new experience to play Olympics. He has done that before, and all that pressure when he got denied the one before. Um, so I mean, after that, I feel like he just been. Insane, uh, insane shape. So Since, yeah. yeah. So it'd be cool to just see him win everything. I don't know for some reason. And how about the Swedish players? Obviously, you're from Sweden. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which yeah. players are in good form? Who are you gonna? Who's the one to look out for? I know. I, I mean, Christian Kolsen. I don't know. It's. I haven't watched that much, but I feel like they're all kind of improving. I, I think Christian Kolsen like 22 in the world now, mm -hmm. and uh, Matthias Kolsen. What's his rank? I have, I'm not convinced. Maybe he's like, high as well. Very similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Anton Schelbe, but. I feel like Anto Schelbe, when he play high players, like, um, yeah, is on the senior level, he's very, you know, he got no respect for them. Like, he just plays game all the time. So I, sometimes I feel like he can beat just about anyone. Mm. But when he plays people in his age, it's a little bit different. Like, I've seen him lose to, like, a Polish player called Badowski two times in a row. But when sometimes when he, I see him, he play, like, Basen Siegel or Apollonia in German League, he, he get no respect, he just crushes some of them oh, like that. amazing, yeah. So I feel like with him, I, I wouldn't be surprised who we beat. I saw him beat Jan Anne in Swedish Open, I wasn't really that surprised. I, I, I'm not saying he's... I, I think Jan Anne is a better player, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised he could beat him. Yeah. Because I know Anton's level, like he can beat, he can play in really high level. And some, most of my friends start tomorrow, like Anton Schellberg and yeah, so tomorrow it's, I'm very excited. Yeah, so. it's very, very, let's be honest, it's very difficult to follow the matches. Yeah, 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 but it's so, so many, it's so many, you can't just, yeah, it's yeah. so difficult, so there's so many. Let's just give him an example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you've got now loads of mixed doubles matches on. It's quite crazy here. Absolutely full stadium of fans. There we go, it's in seventh and final set. Bang Bo and Patricia Soldier. First, America's Jamal and Lily Shang. Huge game here. Big choke from Fang Bo. Crowd really like that. Here we go. Oh. There it is. How cool is this, guys? Look at the arena right now. I love this video. I've like been at the cinema. Join the everything so far? Yes, I do. I see a lot of old friends. That's always nice, especially in World Championships. Then you see some friends who you don't see at a normal pro tour. So yeah, like and I, like you especially. <laughs> now I like also to enjoy. If I put too much uh, focus on my matches, I get too much tense and then I don't play nice. So I try to relax around the matches and then when I have a match, I try to focus again. Okay, good. So the women's singles opening round starts tomorrow. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. I feel the first round is okay for me. I play against Dorina from Croatia. Last time I won 4-2, so I can always play. 
And if I wouldn't have to play against Itomima, that's, that's more difficult. Have you played her before? <laughs> um, yes, but she was really young there. She's young now, but <laughs> I think for me this was even five years ago. And I lost 3-2, so it was close. Mm -hmm. So normally against Japan I can play. So I will see how it will go against her because she has the short pimples. Mm -hmm. So we will see. What's the practice like in the build-up to matches? How, how do you go about your day? Normally I just practice to get some feeling, not too much drilling. What okay. I said before, I really want to have some feeling. And normally before my matches I dance to feel relaxed okay. and to yeah and to become warm. And this works for me. And then I try also, it depends on which match. Sometimes I try to be calm in my head that I focus, that I play easy and just on table and not too much. And sometimes I like, okay, this opponent is really good, I must fight and then I do like Rocky Baboa and really okay. jump and try to like really play good then. Marlong and Timo Ball cruising 7 0. Oh, looks like Timo is going for 11 0 there. Look at this duo, world class. Oh, packed out arena here. Next game. The Pong Infinity Instagram account. I'm trying to find the Netherlands, the flag for the Netherlands. The hustle is so real. Yeah. The struggle, find an emoji. There's always Pong Infinity features in the vlogs. Yeah, a great as, time. Always, as always. As always. Thank you for joining the interview. Thank you so much. So you join yourself in Germany? Very much, very much. I enjoy myself and also I, I, I live here in Saarbrücken so I feel, I feel like I can say I feel home. I also I get used to the German culture. I also feel um, very comfortable. I've been practicing and testing the, the holds. And you're looking forward to the main draw tomorrow, the men's singles? Yes, yes. I, uh, I have checked the draw. I have the Italian player, Del Dosso Rick. Mm -hmm. I have played him before in Kuwait Open 2015. Was good match. I won for one, and uh, so I'm. I have to came, come back to this match and see how I played against him and how my tactics could be in, in the next match. So you maybe look at some video analysis or something? Yeah, for sure. I have the match already. Oh, I'm in, in, my, in my computer. I don't miss so many matches here. So I will. Uh, I will come back to this match. Try to figure out. How was it? And uh, yeah, it would be interesting. That's really interesting. So you look at whenever you play your next match, you look at the videos you played before and look at tactics. And yeah, I like this. I like to go to my coach, sit with him, have a coffee maybe, and then play one or two matches, and then we see how it's, how op opponents how is be against me if we have previous matches against some other opponents how he improved if he played it was maybe two years or three years ago. Then we can check how was his game. So yeah, we uh, I, I used to do that. I, I really like, and I think it's a very good tip also to the young players that they must check the opponents before because the game is changing very often. So if you think this player maybe has weakened this side, maybe not now, maybe he's better in this side than the other side. So you need to be very updated. Mm, of course, the, the game has changed a lot, obviously, with plastic ball as well. How do you find an Taku premium? Well, the Niteko Premium has, uh, for me, a good bounce. I would say it has more stability in the bounce, in the quality of the ball, and also in the spin of the ball, in speed as well. So, um, overall, I would say I prefer the Niteko balls than the um, changing from DHS or uh, Butterfly or Tiba or other brands. I mean, we, all, we respect all, but I think the quality with Niteko, I think, better. I mean, even last year we were playing the 
World Cup only with Nitaco, World Team Cup only with Nitaco, and I think many players were giving very good feedback. Brilliant, and especially what um, goals do you have for this tournament? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I mean, I can picture myself that I I passed first round and also second round against Wang Chunqing. And I, I really, I can see myself uh, make a surprise and being quarter final. Brilliant, I love that. Okay, excellent. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank Brilliant. Thank you. How did you find the qualification day today? It was very exciting. Uh, the the big playing hall where all the tables are is amazing right now. It's where everyone's really fighting and there's people cheering and from Ding Ning and Lu Xuan to the U.S. beating Korea to the Spanish beating Hong Kong. And there were some big upsets in the doubles. It's just exciting to be in, one, a place that knows table tennis so well. I mean, the fans here clap when they see good points and they appreciate good points that not every part of the world would recognize, right? Mm -hmm. They understand what makes a point outstanding. True. Um, two, the, it's cool to see all the brands coming out with their new gear and trying mm -hmm. to show off how cool their brand is with all these neat gimmicks. And it's really a fun place for table tennis fans to sort of see what's on the horizon. I like that. It's like a convention. It's very exciting. I feel like it's just a lot of positive energy and it reminds me that people often ask, is table tennis dying? And I think, why would you think like... Exactly. I, I get that China's dominant and it's been that way. I get that. I see that there are some threats to the sport. But there are reasons that ITTF staff is growing. Mm -hmm. There's reasons, there are reasons that ITTF is investing more in international, you know, like in different continents. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's growing and they're saying with this money that we're making, we're going to invest it back into the sport. So I think there's a lot of great stuff happening. And for me, it's just a really clear reminder of all of the excitement of what's on the horizon for the future of table tennis. That's amazing, Adam. We'll leave it on that. That's brilliant. Cool. Good luck with the commentary tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow, so that'd be great. Looking forward to seeing that.